it might be a family-friendly game, but over the years, they have added some truly questionable things. From a POI you'll never see the same, to a weird secret about your favorite skin, we must protect Nick 30 from these disturbing things we found in Fortnite. One of the creepiest glitches is still keeping me up at night. People would randomly invite their friends to the lobby, only to be met with the scariest face of all time. Oh my god, what is wrong with your eyes? Oh, what the f did you see that? Fortnite is full of nightmare fuel like this. In chapter one, players simply walked into a basement and found a teddy bear sitting in the corner. The same scene from the Blair Witch movie. Now we've had Ghoul Trooper in the game for a long time, but for those who bought her years after release, she got an extra back bling in 2019. Yeah, it's the decapitated head of Snug. Ghoul Trooper literally took their head off and started eating his brains. And this gets even weirder. When Festival Phaedra dropped, they added tongues on her legs. This already sounds disturbing until they Things got worse. Hey yo, what the? F Sometimes you gotta stop and think about what you're doing. Seriously, when we take out wildlife in Fortnite, they drop raw meat, and we just pick that stuff up and eat it from the bone. I mean, at least cook it, Jonesy. But we already know this guy will eat anything. When he got locked in a bunker with Peely, they checked the fridge only to find nothing to be there. Huh? So how did they survive? Well, Jonesy straight up grinded his best friend into a smoothie and then drank him. What is wrong with this game? Peely has appeared in Fortnite's strangest moments. During a court case, Epic's lawyer asked if there was anything inappropriate about showing Peely without clothes. So only for the marketing VP to respond, it's just a banana, ma'am. Well, about that, he's not. There's a skin named Peely Bone, which shows his insides. They fully modeled his intestines and brain. And this guy is alive, but yet he dies in the most brutal ways. In fact, Peely has died more than any other character in Fortnite. It's a running gag to wipe this guy out, whether he's crushed by a boulder, sliced up by Darth Vader, or hadouken into pieces. Peely! see his arms and legs on the ground. It's so messed up. They even bully him in Lego Fortnite. I mean, what the heck? Epic also takes this by surprise in game. During Fortnite Nightmares 2022, you can walk into a random house and be chased by a Victoria doll with an axe. <laughs> We even found her backstory a year later, showing her as a dead widow who possessed the doll. And that's not as scary as Wailing Woods. You can just be minding your own business here in 2018, only to hear a disturbing gnome laugh in the distance. Phobia of gnomes, check. Now here's where Fortnite gets messed up. They once added an adorable creature named Clombo. Look at him, he's so cute. Everyone loved Clombo, only for the poor guy to vanish after one season. We expected him to just be vaulted, right? Until we logged onto the next map and found Clombo's skeleton. The epic employee who did this is messed up. We also need to find whoever did this to our favorite skins. Colonel Scream Leader is a Frankenstein mashup of a ton of outfits, which means there's a person in the storyline who has chopped up Tomato Head, Raven, Fishstick, Rex, and Cuddle Team Leader. All of those guys died to make this happen. Been a little freaky. Still not as disturbing though as Mincemeat. Not only is this guy horrifying, his story is so much worse. At one point, Epic added Mincemeat as an NPC and he would try to eat you with a knife and fork. And that's not the only time skins have acted weird. Fortnite once added a glitch that couldn't be explained. Some outfits would look normal unless they were alone in the lobby. Then they would start to smile. To this day, no one knows what caused this. So maybe the skins are becoming self-aware? Well, if they ever come to life and attack us, let's hope it's not night hair. This guy looks like a rabbit from a distance until you pay close attention. Under his ears, you could find the creepiest smile out there. It goes all the way up to his face. He was fully stitched together to be an evil rabbit and has been giving us nightmares for years now. A more recent disturbing fact was hidden in Winterfest 2023. We got a whole new island full of holiday decorations, yet we didn't realize someone was watching us as we explored. The Nutcracker moves from house to house every game, spying on us from the chimney, an igloo, and even hidden in the snow. Safe to say it feels like Fortnite is a horror game and well, there wouldn't be wrong. When they first came up with the idea, it was meant to be super dark and terrifying. The early concept art is insane, and this is what husks were. If I saw this in my bedroom, I would burn the house down. Well, actually, you might see one in the house, just pay attention to the TV. At times, Fortnite's televisions have been possessed by a dancing troll that tries to break free. <laughs> Not the only monster walking around, there's a horrifying version of Fish Stick which has everyone concerned. Last four nightmares, they dropped Bog Stick, a swampy variant with absolutely nothing behind these dead eyes. His expression alone is chilling, and then you realize his eyes glow in the dark. Just imagine this running at you at night. Speaking of Fish Stick, did you know that Fortnite killed him? For years now, he has been dead after Deathstroke murdered him in the comics. This was Fish Stick outside the loop, so all the other versions of him are clones. The real one brutally died. 
They even kill them again later with more violence. His comics are unhinged. They literally paired the Imagine with Wolverine and gave them a full-on relationship. Not going into detail here, but things got weird for a kid's game. In fact, the whole premise of Fortnite is pretty messed up. Battle Royale is actually just a bunch of people kidnapped against their will and forced to fight each other. So the next time you equip someone like Fabio Sparklemane, just know he doesn't want to be here. I mean, he's already suffered enough. This guy has one of the most disturbing backstories in all of Fortnite, and you wouldn't know it unless you listen to his music pack. Apparently a cursed cereal, turning him into a unicorn, forced to sell breakfast forever. If you read his emote description, it even says Fabio is in horrible agony as he begs for help during the song. Not the only disturbing voice, in Fortnite Mares there was a time that you could become a shadow. We expected this to just be a cool feature until it started to distort our voices. So voice chat turned into demons and emotes were also affected. <laughs> Alright, Fortnite knows how to creep us out. In chapter 1, these scarecrows were on the map and players hated them. They had no reason to be this disturbing, and yet Epic decided to make it worse. On Halloween, these began to have glowing red eyes. A feature that wasn't meant to be creepy is voice chat. Back in the day, if you talked into the mic, your character would speak. Oh my god, the Fortnite characters talk when you talk! La... Oh. What? Yo. And uh, at times, it could look terrifying. It legit <laughs> looks like you're <laughs> okay, there are some obscure facts out there that'll both surprise and also freak you out. On some official merchandise, Fortnite once released a design showing the llama's features, like a shield potion, the loot inside, and knives on their feet. If only they used it to fight back, because it turns out the llamas are not just a pinata. They are alive. These are wild animals, and if you needed the proof, well, let's just say this one had a bad day. Peely is also having a hard time. This season, he's been missing after he was kidnapped by a mysterious group. On the map, you can even find the rooms where he's held hostage and tied to a chair. But this guy is completely oblivious to what's happening. In loading screens, he looks perfectly happy to be there and just thinks he has new friends. Now, Fortnite has some strange bugs, which could be extremely terrifying. Some players are able to use Kit's built-in emote on any skin. Trust me, it's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Glitches have always creeped us out. In the early days, there was a crawling glitch that made enemies look like a zombie. Things get strange though when you look at Fortnite Creative's guidelines. It tells you to align with the game rating, which means no adult content like pole dancing. Makes sense, but in the same rule, they also say no nursery rhymes? A little specific, but still not as disturbing as this tree from chapter four. It was the corpse of the Herald after she died in the fracture event, except if you got close enough, you could hear her breathing inside. And if you spend your hard earned money on teeth, I got a couple questions for you. First of all, why? He's gruesome. Players think he looks like a thumb with teeth, and I gotta agree, this guy was taken straight out of a horror movie. But it can't harm you, unlike alien parasites. In chapter two, eggs appeared around the island, and if you destroyed them, they would hatch some gross parasites. They stuck to your head, drained you of health, but in return, you would get abilities. Of course, to make things more unsettling, they could attach to wildlife and possess them, forcing animals to attack and drain you with slime. Sometimes things aren't meant to be disturbing, and yet they're still hard to watch. Like the time SNL did a Fortnite skit, and it was terrible. Okay, I got it. I'm the blonde man. This feature in chapter one was intentionally creepy, though. You can find red balloons above storm drains, and once popped, it was haunting. <laughs> Pennywise isn't the only one stalking us. During Winterfest, you could peek through the window to find Peely staring at you from outside. What is he doing out there? At least it's not Gumbo, because this is the last guy I want outside my window. In his music pack, it tells a story of how he ate an evil gumball and it turned him crazy. So now he roams the island looking for people to eat. Not the only character with a depressing backstory. Agent Jones seems like a lighthearted guy, but he's actually hundreds of years old. This immortality meant that he outlived his own family, including his wife and kids, watching them die as he worked for the Imagined Order. Now he works with the Seven, a bunch of mass vigilantes, but if you wonder what's under hundreds of skins masks, the answer is terrifying. This is the default face texture, and I guess I'm not sleeping tonight. At least we know who's under the Foundation's mask, and let's just say Dwayne Johnson has some insane bloopers. Before they got him in the booth, the placeholder voice got a little carried away. It's breaking down. I need to start the containment process now. Yet yeah, this decision is more disturbing to your wallet than anything else. Fortnite once did a collab with Balenciaga, selling sweaters and t-shirts for thousands of dollars just with a PNG slapped on it. Yikes. 
and they're really messed up when they allow people to submit their own POI using the block. Eventually, somebody designed a place with a basement, and down the stairs you would find an insanely disturbing scene, forcing Epic to remove the POI and never bring the OG block back since. Some things disappear on their own, like the mysterious teddy bears in Chapter 1. Players came across these guys hiding around the map, and once you spotted them, they would vanish into thin air. To this day, we got no idea why. And if you're wondering what happens when you get eliminated in Fortnite, the answer has always lied in the drones. Pay attention to it, you'll watch yourself fall into pixels as a drone collects you and takes you straight back to Spawn Island. Not as strange as the time we summon Cthulhu. Okay, well, it's technically not him, but the similarities were there. You'd stand in a summoning circle, ignite the flames, and bring the Inquisitor to the basement with a horrifying scream. This was just something you could do in the middle of a game. You can't do it anymore, but you can pull off something way more disturbing. Fortnite has water physics, letting you swim around and dolphin dive, but it also lets you drown. Super hard to pull off, but the devs program this in anyway. Now, one of the most disturbing things in Fortnite has been their environmental storytelling. Six years ago, Save the World had a secret basement with a serial killer's dungeon. What were they thinking? 